let's go back to the topic of the Express LRS Raider. The open source remote ID compatible implementation of the remote ID module. In theory, everything looks great. What uh, Captain Bry from the uh, Express LRS uh, project is working on is meeting all the technical regulations and requirements for the remote ID mode. If you connect everything correctly and add the telemetry and uh, some additional communication with the, between the Express LRS uh, receiver and your flight controller, and of course you have the GPS, etc., etc., etc. Uh, the module can, of course, get the actual position from your drone and transmit it over the Wi-Fi beacon with the specific set of the information and everything is right. So, in theory, you got yourself a remote ID for free. Wonderful solution. Everything should be happy that uh, we had Express LRS and the Express LRS is solving real problems. Because, yeah, it's kind of solving real problems. However, I have a bad news for anyone who thought that the Express LRS radar will actually solve the remote ID module problem for your drone. No, it will not solve your problem because even if you will put the software from the Express LRS on your Express LRS receiver that transmits the compliance set of the information uh, over the correct frequency and corrects everything and the application that is used is really like uh, getting correctly all the data it's still not remote id compliant there is a uh, FPVFC org uh, web page that uh, has a lot of useful information on this topic. And um, there is a sentence. Any person can submit a means of compliance for the design and the production of the standard remote ID UAS or the remote ID broadcast module to FAA. Anyone can build a drone or anyone can build uh, the module and can use it and uh, no no not can use it and can manufacture it only they have to submit their module to the FAA you have to send the person address email uh, how you say that you are compliant with the regulation uh, analysis of the validation procedure, ground test, flight test, uh, how it like you have to have a longish document. I, I can guarantee that the bureaucracy loves this kind of the document and document at the end would have to be massive and uh, you have to demonstrate the means of the compliance. Uh, that's also beautiful by the way. And here comes the bad part. Mm, the Express LRS is not the manufacturer of the uh, remote ID broadcast module. The module, the physical module, is the module. And uh, if you flashed, bought somewhere the hardware and you flashed the firmware uh, over this uh, hardware, you are the manufacturer or the module. You are responsible for submitting your module to the FAA. Even if you got yourself the Express LRS uh, radar compatible hardware and the manufacturer of this hardware does not submit it as the official remote ID broadcast module to the FAA and you flashed it and you put it into your drone, you become the manufacturer, you have to submit it and uh, the fact, uh, even the fact that uh, Express LRS or Captain Bryce says that it's transmitting uh, correct data does it mean that FAA will recognize it as official thing so so that's that's the problem with the Express LRS radar uh, it solves the technical aspect does not really solve the legal aspect of the thing because the remote ID broadcast module becomes a certi certified device that meets all the requirements for the remote ID only if you submit uh, it to the FAA and the FAA politely agrees and the rules of the submit is that there's quite a lot of things that have to happen and I can guarantee nobody who's like flash something will ever do it because that's just, that's just stupid.